Hello everyone and welcome to another video I, think. I thought I would do a video about the frequency separation now with frequency separation the, I, I, I used to use it first with just selecting and then applying a gaussing blur but then I found out that I can use the patch tool you know how we use a lot of patching when it comes to um, babies and stuff like that because of the flakes and stuff so I just wanted to um, show you how I get rid of the red uh, splotches and how I get rid of like uh, just make it make their skin look as natural as possible but you know tend to also get rid of the splotches and stuff but keep their skin uh, texture the same way I'm just saying the same thing here anyways um, so I've re I've opened this photo before and these are the settings. Uh, my camera raw already remembers these settings. It's actually quite cool. This photo is very old. Uh, it's amazing that it still remembers my settings from last time. So basically the first thing I would do is do my uh, fr frequency layer. Uh, the thing is that I usually have it on an action, but you know, for the sake of this, I'll just go through it again. So basically what I would do is create two layers, uh, that's Command-J on the Mac. Uh, you know, make this one uh, invisible, this one is visible, so then go to Filter, uh, Blur, Gaussing Blur. Uh, you can skip this part if you already know how to um, create something like this, how to create the frequency separation, or you can, you know, go ahead and watch it in another video. There. Are, it's the same way basically, but for the sake of this, I'm just going to do it. Um, so, what we are planning to do here is just try and keep, try and blur away these reds and try and blur away those little bits that we don't want showing. Um, don't overdo it, obviously. Um, try to, um, you know, be uh, sensible. I think this is not so bad. So, I'm just going to. Um, just this looks good to me I think so I'll just press OK and I'll make this layer visible right here and then go to image apply image and I'm going to choose the layer underneath it where we have our blur which is layer one and then subtract it see you can tell here that I can see the actual um, the lines that yet the the nose, I can, I can see things like that, which is great because that's our, um, you know, that's our skin texture. And the scale here and offset are 2 to 1 to 8. And just click OK. So it's not going to have, well, we can't work with it like that, so we're going to have to change it to um, linear light. So that brings it back. Uh, make a group out of this. Um, out of these two layers, group from layers, call them FS, frequency separation, whatever, and then open it up. This is the uh, layer that we're gonna be working on. So go ahead and press J for um, our patch tool. And here's the cool thing. This is, this is why it works really nicely on newborns is because of these red splotches and we always get them. So. Um, instead of me using the actual patch tool on their actual skin, the actual layer, without separating the texture from um, from the from the photo, I'm basically like, oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Never mind. But can you tell? Like, see how if I zoom in, you can still actually see their little bits of um, skin and these little marks of how their skin works, which is great because if I simply just use the patch tool, it's just for argument's sake, um, go ahead and do this, the whole skin has been changed. Like the whole actual skin texture has been changed. It's not as, see he's got little bits of fluffy hair here and it's like in a circular. If I go ahead and, um, do that again can you see how that just is just gone but if I use this layer 
then I still have that bit of circular fluffy bit of hair which is great and that's using the patch tool now I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing this Obviously, after you finish your cleaning up, look, that's just like amazing. I still have everything there. Um, I still have the lines here. So after I finish with my frequency, I would um, get rid of the red bits on the skin. So I would just go onto one of my actions that I use. I use the um, newborn um, actions from uh, GTG. Uh, I use their um, newborn one. Um, you can use any type of action. I'm not really fussed at this point. So just paint it off. Um, opacity 34 or less really depends on your eyes and how red the baby is. Um, Obviously, you gotta be careful because this will make baby a bit purple. Um, so maybe not do it too much. Or if you've also got an action to, you know, fix the purple or paint back the skin, that's also fine. So I'm just gonna get rid of the two, the redness here as well. So after I have done my uh, red redness um, cleaning up, I would go and maybe add a bit of vibrance because we've lost a little bit of color. So vibrance, um, just a tiny bit. I mean, just a tiny bit that makes a difference, you know. Like not don't do don't overdo it. I may pop that saturation down um, just so it's not too in my face. Look, it's looking better already. The next thing I'm going to do is add a curves layer and the whole point of the curves layer is to basically give this baby a bit more of a warmer color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to curves and from the drop down instead of just RGB that basically controls your light and everything, light shadows, highlights, uh, all sorts. You can actually even do your mats here like basically what I do just like you know mat it up you know that's you can mat up through curves or you can mat up through um, exposure but this is this is not why we're here I'm not matting this image anyways but this is the point of RGB but when you drop down to red green and blue then you can actually control the 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 intensity or the strength of these uh, of the colors that make an image you know it's RGB so we'll go to red So that's better um, and then yeah I think that should be it um, let's see the before and after if you would like to go ahead and you know edit the skin I usually just use portraiture you can go ahead and use <coughs> any um, uh, skin retouching action that you have like the newborn ones from G2G or um, the LSB ones and please let me know if this helped you out I, I love it when these things actually help out. I don't really do a lot of videos of editing and stuff like that. So I, when I do, it's something that I actually feel very passionately about, something that actually helps with my editing. And, you know, that's it. It's done. You can just have your frequency separation as a batch. I'm not sure why the curves became an actual topic in this video, although it's not. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and bye!